We have not been to Dallas in a minute here on Terrific TV Toys, but we're going back to Dallas for this episode. Um, I actually don't have a lot of Dallas merchandise. I just have a few pieces, really, and um, I think you've already seen all of them on the show. So this is one that I have not shown yet, and this is a more modern Dallas um, piece of merchandise. This is from a set of cars released by Green Light Hollywood a few years ago, and I did find some images online of the other cars of this series, which I will show at the end of this episode. These are images from the internet, not my own images, um, so you'll see some of the others. But what we have here is a 1970 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck, okay? And if you're a fan of the Dallas TV show, you may think, okay, where'd this come from? I don't recognize this. What episode was this in? Well, <laughs> let me tell you. In the spirit of the very widely used website IMDB, the Internet Movie Database, there is actually a website called the IMCDB, the Internet Movie Cars Database. And it is a wonderful resource for stuff like this. If you want to look up a vehicle that was used in a TV show or a movie, um, even if it was just one episode, this is very granular information, I'm telling you. So if you look at the Dallas section of the IMCDB, you will see there is an entry for this pickup truck, this 1970 Chevy C10. And um, there's an image of it from the show, like a still from the show. And then you scroll down and there's more images in the comments. Users have contributed images, but look at this. There's our buddy Ray driving this, okay? So um, you'll see that one of the commenters says, this is Ray's car or truck in the first season. Okay, so there you have it. This is actually a vehicle that was used on screen, not like some of the other um, toy cars you see. Like, for instance, there's a set of Star Trek cars <laughs> that have images of the Star Trek characters, but we know that there weren't a whole lot of cars on the Star Trek series. But this was actually actually a vehicle that was in the series. So here we go. Let's look at the packaging without getting too much of the glare in there. Limited edition die cast metal chassis. Yeah. Um, one die cast car. Series six, eight plus. <laughs> 164, all that good stuff. And then on the back, you've got a really nice image of the cast, a very popular image. In fact, I had that image on my website many, many years ago when I first started up my BRB TV websites. I recognize it, but just a good classic Dallas image. Limited edition again. Hollywood, Greenlight Hollywood, Dallas the TV series, and then you've got the website for greenlightcollectibles.com. I did see these for sale online, like on eBay or Amazon, if you want to snag one or some of the others from this series. I got the GM logo down here too, along with Warner Brothers and the verbiage, and I see a date of 2013 in here. So this is going to be what we call an out-of-the-box experience. So this thing is coming out of the package. I've got an implement to free it from the package. I know some may consider it sacrilege, but I am an out-of-package kind of girl, and if you own this, you can live vicariously through me and um, know the joy of opening it without opening your own. I'm not even going to keep the packaging or the cards, so I am doing a little bit of ripping. That's probably why I'm off camera. <laughs> Don't hate. Try not to hate. Um, but yeah, we'll free this truck, and then the truck will go on the shelf because I do have a number of other um, little vehicles like this from various TV shows and even movies. Okay, so pretty simple packaging there, and here is the truck. The wheels that move, die cast stuff going on here. Let me see what we got. We got like some kind of product number 3827. We got some very, very tiny script there. And then up here, we've got the green light logo, if you can see that. So yeah, I'm gonna try to zoom in on that a little bit. Chevy. Yeah, I got the Chevy verbiage. And then the Warner Brothers Entertainment I see also 
So there's the underside with the wheels that move and some tread on the tires. Gotta love that. Like in the tread on the tires. And then the detail on the truck itself. There's the Chevy logo and the front grille of this line. And then the cab you can see is a white color. There's inside the bed. Nice. Pretty good detail here. I like the detail. And then inside the truck, if we can get a little bit of that, <laughs> you can see a glove box in there. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> Let's look at the dash a little bit better. There's the steering wheel. The steering wheel is an interesting shape, huh? I'm assuming they're pretty accurate on this. I don't know my Chevys. Okay, gas cap even. All right, and there's the back. No license plate though. Hmm, it'd be cool if, the <laughs> if this came down, but oh well, we won't be choosy because it's pretty, pretty detailed. Got the windshield wipers there too. Like it. Okay, Ray, well, hop in and check out how things are going on the back 40 of South Fork, I guess. Right on out there, Ray. All right, well, thank you once again for joining us for Terrific TV Toys. Here are those images, and the images include a Facebook post that was on the um, page of our friends over at Dallas Fanzine. They show um, a number of these cars, so I wanted to include that, too, um, because it's kind of some, some cool history. So, yeah, enjoy, and we will see you next time on Terrific TV Toys here at BRB TV.